this year's event is particularly special as it has brought on board a new corporate partner in Atlas Mara. We are excited that Atlas Mara has come on board to sponsor this year's Charity Shield. This speaks to our executives' open door policy to various partners who are interested in contributing to the development of the game. We are happy that this event will have a combination of many corporate bodies that represent our sponsored leagues. Atlas Mara has responded to our call to come on board and be part of the football revolution currently underway. This year's event brings together two sides that have won their respective leagues with 13-time champion Kana representing the MTN Super League while Indeni is representing the Eden University National Division I League after any promotion to the MTN League. Regrettably, we still have to hold this fixture behind closed doors as we are yet to be given permission to allow soccer fans in view of the ongoing COVID-19 challenges. I'd like to salute everyone that has remained steadfast in ensuring that football continues even under the threat of the COVID-19. Football has played a role of providing hope for the distressed population. On our part, we continue to engage the authorities to give us a green light on the possibility of bringing fans back into the stadiums under these new normal conditions. The event, the money that will be raised, will be donated to the charity, which is called St. Lawrence uh, Home of Hope, which is a charity that is looking after young boys between the age of 6 and 18. There are more than 100 of them, taught there are about 110 actually. 33 are in the home, 77 are in schools. I'm told there's even one person who's in university. So it is a noble cause that we are supporting. In doing so, as Atlas Mara, we have a, a, a partnered with us to be able to raise funds, not just through the tournament, but as Atlas Mara, we'll also be encouraging, we'll be, we are inviting the members of the public to take part in making donations towards this charity. As the first president said, this event is, I mean, the tournament for this year will be, you know, you know it, it will not have fans in the stadium. So it limits the opportunities for fundraising. But we are still giving the opportunity to all the soccer fans, to you and me and everybody else, to participate. We have been contributing in our small way to rescuing children and families by bringing positive and lasting change into the lives of those who find themselves in a crisis. Over these years, we have taken from the streets almost 800 children, and more than 62% of those were reintegrated with their families.